Hello Corkies, welcome back. We got a special episode for you today. We're gonna do some wine pairings, but not with food. We're doing wine pairings with cigars. I'm gonna teach you several go-to tricks to make sure you have the best wine and cigar experience possible. So stay tuned. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome back to Cork and Java, your go-to place for wine and coffee, reviews and how-tos. It's a cigar episode today, and we're gonna do some tips on how to pair them. If that sounds interesting to you and you wanna see more videos like this, consider hitting that subscribe button below so you're notified when future videos come out. So first off, what kind of wines should you pair with cigars? I typically don't recommend doing whites. Um, they're just too delicate. And as far as reds go, Probably want to stay away from most uh, Pinot Noirs as well, just because they're delicate as well. <clears throat> the first rule of thumb, I would say, is try to match the body of your cigar to the body of the wine. So if you have a very full-bodied uh, cigar, try to find a full-bodied wine to go along with it. If it's more delicate cigar, maybe medium body, Connecticut wrapper, something like that, go with a, a little bit less full-bodied um, red wine. Some good red wines to go with are Malbec, uh, Zinfandel, not the white Zinfandel, but a normal red Zinfandel. Um, Italian wines such as um, Sangiovese or Chianti are also uh, good options for cigars. Um, Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah or Shiraz, those are all very good options to go with cigars. And um, what I got smoking today, it's a uh, Gran Habano. It's a handmade uh, 3 SLS or Siglos um, cigar. It's fairly full bodied, full medium bodied. It's got uh, some peppery notes to it. And a nice uh, leathery finish. And I'm pairing that with this Argentinian Malbec 2016 from Don Miguel Gas Gascon. And let me tell you how this one tastes. So on the nose, you get a lot of like blackberry and uh, just kind of a lot of fruity notes. Um, some like dark cherry and a little bit of vanilla in there. On the taste, overall the mouthfeel is slightly more soft than tannic and uh, that's gonna help also with the pairing uh, because if it's too tannic, it's gonna clash with um, the cigar and take away from the cigar's flavors. So I would look for something that's not superly high in tannins unless the cigar is like ridiculously heavy full body cigar, which this one isn't really. This is a medium to full, I'd say this is a medium to full um, bodied uh, Malbec from um, Argentina. Argentina, the grapes were um, grown at fairly high altitude and um, it leaves for a nice soft but still complex um, wine that pairs very nicely with the cigar. So why pair wine and cigars? Well one interesting thing is they're very similar in nature and how they are um, crafted and created. Bo both are very much entwined in the terroir or the areas and regions in which the, the grapes are grown or the tobacco is grown and they're both processed by various different um, processes and crafted into a final product that um, is meant to be enjoyed. So both cigars and wine you're really experiencing a place, a unique area of the world, uh, a wine region or a cigar region that's got its own story and characteristics to it. And bringing those two together with wine and cigars is a great experience. It's a great talking point. It's um, great to learn uh, just about uh, world regions that way and experience different cultures. And so that's one reason why uh, these two pairings go really well. But also just in, in the taste of wine and cigars together. It's kind of like a peanut butter and jelly thing to me. Um, so with wine, uh, 
having a cigar, it's gonna bring out, for me at least, the fruitiness notes of it. And it's gonna also kind of tame the cigar down a little bit, especially if it's kind of full bodied. It'll um, smooth it out, make it um, just be a, a smoother smoking experience. There'll be less bite and harshness to it, I think. Also, alcohol as a depressant and nicotine as a um, picker-upper, um, they kind of balance each other out in that kind of way as well. Oh man, I'm just getting some really good spice notes and some um, cedar notes on this cigar. It's just, it's a very good stick. I really do recommend picking this up. It's hard to go wrong with Grand Habana. And also as well, this, this Malbec is a good Malbec. Um, it's under the $15 price point. I think we got it for about $12. So this is a great Malbec. It's one of my favorite grapes. In Argentina, there's no, no place that does it better than Argentina for your Malbec, so try picking that up. Some other pairings for uh, cigars that I personally like. Um, I like kind of the contrast of um, tart flavors with um, cigars. So one of my favorite combinations is lemonade. I know some people might think that clashes, but I think that uh, the tart sweetness of it, um, it kind of brings down uh, any nicotine kick that you might get from a cigar. But also, it's incredible how those two flavor combinations kind of um, battle each other out there. I, it's something I enjoy a lot. Also, coffee. I can do a whole nother video on that, but coffee and cigars are also a great combination. Um, um, as long as it's not too acidic of a coffee, then it's usually very, very good with a cigar. There you have it, folks. Um, great pairing of wine, red wine particularly, and cigars. Let me know in the comment section down below what are some drinks that you pair with cigars and what are some different things that you pair with wine. And maybe you have a favorite cigar that uh, you want to showcase down in the comment section. Please let me know and uh, maybe I'll be able to pick that up and uh, give it a try. Um, we got a Facebook group uh, where we discuss wine and coffee and various other beverages on Facebook. It's Cork and Java, so look for us there. We got a Twitter account that's at Cork Java and a Pinterest page as well, which is Pinterest.com slash Cork and Java. So until next time, folks, bottoms up. Yeah.